What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a good day. The C5 is officially done back on the ground. The wrap is finished. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I do have a little surprise for you guys. I hope you didn't think I was done with just the Nardo Gray. You can see back on the ground, the Nardo Gray came out really nice. I put the badges back on, the spears back on, the back still black, but Let's walk around to the other side. And I did half urban camo. It is a ragged camo, it's a full printed camo. So with my one car, I can pretty much show everything I offer here. I have plain color, a printed color. I have old vinyl, those are eight years old, the stripes, some pinstriping, and the roof is textured carbon. So this is gonna be at all the events this year. I'm gonna do all the shows with it. I will, uh, it's kind of the showpiece now. The C5 has kind of been pretty, not boring, but nothing's been done to it in years. Uh, it's just been kind of sitting. The paint was really bad on it, so I ended up just wrapping it. I think it came out really cool. I know everybody isn't gonna like it. So a lot of people are, a lot of people aren't. That's okay, that's what's nice about vinyl. When I'm done with it, I'll just pull it off. Next season, maybe I'll change it. But for now, I'm very happy with it. It's gonna stay like that. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys want to come out to some events this year, check it out. So something else I want to do, I want to start doing weekly videos where I show everything I do in the shop. I'm just going to film everything. I'll put some edits together and just kind of once a week I'll post that. So it's just going to be a bunch of projects throughout the week. It'll be like weekly updates and I'll still do full videos on big projects like I did on Pete's car. So he's very happy about that video. Everyone seemed to like it too. I appreciate all the feedback. I'll show you what I'm working on today. This will pretty much be the start of one of the weekly videos. I just wanted to show you guys the C5. I just, I only filmed the Nardo side wrapping it because I didn't want to bore you guys and just do the same thing on the other side. And I figured I'd surprise you with the camo. So let's take a step inside. I'll show you what I'm working on today. I'm wrapping another truck for statewide. It's a new truck. They just got it in. It's a 5,500. I already prepped a lot of it. Still needs to be wiped down. A couple things need to be taken off. Handles still need to come off. The antenna on the roof still needs to come off. But I got the flares off. I got all the badges off. I got um, the 5500 badges off, mirrors off. My dad figured out how to pull some of the weather stripping that I couldn't figure out. I will say Dodge made it quite a pain in the butt to pull those. And then coming around the other side, I'm gonna have to cut around this certified clean idle because they have to keep this on. It's kind of like a one-time use sticker. We still have to pull this piece of trim. This is the trim that is a pain in the butt to get off. The inside one's super easy. These actually wrap around and clamp in. They're, they just take a little bit of time. I don't want to bend them. My dad's a little more gentle than I am with certain things. And we'll pull the handles still. The back, I'm going to end up dipping because the backs get super destroyed. So it's just easier if I dip it black for them. They can just rinse it off. I can re-dip it. Uh, this is, I, I even know it's a work truck. I wrap them like I do show cars. I pull everything off, I tuck everything, I want it to be as nice as possible. I don't have to. I know a lot of guys that do commercial wraps, they don't, they don't do all the prep like this. They just cut right to it, they don't try to tuck it. I want this to last as long as they want it to. If it gets beat up, I can fix it again. And then we are gonna go ahead and do just a strip on the uh, rockers in there, just so the guys have something to step on without ruining the white paint. I'll probably go ahead and time lapse this. A couple other things I'm gonna work on this week. I have to put some Expel on the white Grand Sport. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go back to working on my Camaro, doing the head and cam swap. I haven't had time to do anything with that. You guys haven't even seen a video on that yet because I haven't had time to edit it. I'm gonna go ahead, keep working on that. That'll be separate videos because that's a cool project. The two post is still on the ground. I ended up hurting my back. Couldn't lift it. I didn't need to yet. Too much other stuff going on. And then my dad is uh, actually just going over a C4, a new gentleman, just came into the shop, great guy, he's gonna be a new, uh, hey, he's a new car Corvette friend. So my dad's going through everything, they just did a trans flush on it, he drove like two and a half hours here to do it, so he's hanging out. So we're, uh, we're it's a productive day here. I'm gonna keep going ahead, I'm probably gonna start laying some vinyl, I'll do a quick time lapse, nothing crazy, I'm not gonna show you guys everything. Like I said, it's gonna be a bunch of projects throughout the week, every week I'm gonna post, and I'll still do the big videos. So, here we go guys.
This is another day uh, of the week. Just a quick thing, I'm gonna run through everything. I'm still working on the statewide truck. I'm gonna probably bang out the rest of this vinyl today. We also got a detail in that's going down today. Uh, full interior, full exterior. It's, it's a little bit dirty, not too bad. The interior has some stains and stuff. We're gonna do our best to get it out. Allie's gonna start working on this. I'm gonna start doing the exterior while she's doing some of the interior. Then I gotta run out, pick up some touch-up paint and stuff. Um, she's busy this afternoon, so it's just gonna be a, a bunch of little clips and stuff. I just, we'll run through everything, show you on this. It's, it's not super dirty, things are stained. My extractor's broken right now. I got, I just needed a new one. So I'm just gonna, I'll wet all the fabric. I'll use a drill brush. We'll use the uh, shop vac to suck everything out. It should work fine. And I'll show you the finished project product on this. We'll do a little time lapse on this. Uh, I'll finish a time lapse on that. And it's gonna be today. All right, so while Ali used to an interior, I wiped the exterior down real quick. It wasn't super dirty, so I wiped it down inside. I'm still gonna use like detailer and stuff to clean it up. But he did specifically ask to take the rain guards off. I pulled them off. They weren't too hard. They were actually, they're not like uh, the new style ones where they're just 3M'd on and they can tuck under the weather stripping. These were actually all held in by little metal brackets and little screws. So I pulled them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a drill with a rubber eraser wheel and just try to blast the uh, old 3M off so I'm not sitting here picking at it with my fingers. And then, uh, and then I'm gonna keep working on the exterior. I'll run another little time lapse. I don't wanna make things too long because by the end of the week I feel like I'm gonna have like a 30 minute video for you guys. But I don't wanna do like, just a, I don't wanna do just a video on a detail or just a video on like this. I wanna make uh, kind of like weekly updates. I'll still, like I said, I'll do cool videos. And on, if something comes in, like the C3, when I wrap that, I'll do a full video on that. Um, but for now, we'll just do little stuff. If you guys like it, I'll keep doing it. If you don't like it, then I'll stop and I'll just do the normal videos again. All right guys, something I wanna show you with, uh, with, after you take 3M and stuff off, the little bit of like adhesive residue that's left, the easiest way to get it off is with something called Rapid Remover. I mean, there's stuff like Goo Gone, but Goo Gone, in my opinion, does not work. Rapid Remover is the absolute best. It's a professional product. It works the fastest. It smells nasty, don't breathe it in. So I just put it in an old detail bottle, like this. Take any old rag. You'll see the eraser wheel got almost everything off. We'll get out of Allie's, we'll get out of Allie's way and go to the back door. So you can see what's left on it. Your nail can scratch it off, but it's just annoying. So you can spray a little bit of rapid remover. Let it sit for a few seconds, a few minutes if it's really bad, and you'll find that it really softens it up. It turns it into almost like a gel. And then we'll see if it's... And just like that, guys. It's super simple, it's super easy to use. Like I said, try not to breathe it in because it is pretty nasty though. And uh, I'll hit that one more time, but now I'm gonna go around, I'll do all the other doors. Allie's almost done doing the first round of vacuuming on the inside. Everything's pretty stained, so I am gonna hit it with a drill brush. And uh, I'll show you guys, I'll, show, I'll see what I show you guys during the process, but then I'll show you guys when it's all done.
All right, guys, it's almost the end of the day here. Uh, not done yet, I still got one more project I'm gonna work on. It's for uh, a good friend of mine, his sister. Uh, I'm gonna just clean up a car a little bit. I'll show you guys what I got done today. We got most of the statewide truck wrapped. I ended up getting a late start because I had so much running around to do this morning and then I got like probably six or seven guys came by today. I sold a couple jobs. Uh, this is actually what I'm gonna do a little cleanup on. I'll show you in a second. So I got the hood wrapped yesterday, got the fender wrapped, got the door wrapped, up and around the door, got this door back together, and got this front fender wrapped, that back together. Allie finished that detail for me. I'll go outside and show you that. I mean, it's, it, it came out nice for a, uh, it's his daily driver. It's a, no, it's, it's not you, it's just the car. It wasn't the cleanest car. So, uh, he's got a Mustang. He's a good customer of ours. He's actually, I think it's a 2019. But, here's what Allie did for me today. Did some back to black on all the black trim. Made that look nice. Uh, my GoPro actually had a little bit of a spaz moment when I was doing that, and I ended up losing that clip for some reason. But, did it all the way around. Handles everything. Stripped off his uh, rain guards. This weather strip here, you can see how it's kind of tucked in. I'll have to show them. It is like that from years of being jammed under into the window and being closed from that rain guard. I tried to pop it out, but you can see every time you pop it out, it just kind of shoots back in. So that's gonna, maybe a warm day, let it heat up and keep doing it, it'll stay. But for, I mean, like 10 years of being like that, it's pretty much stuck like that. We went around, did the whole thing. The interior came out nice, oh, and she already locked it, so I can't even show you. She's she's she likes to get ahead of herself sometimes. She starts cleaning up when I'm halfway through things. She locks things up while we're still here. She's uh, she's very cautious with everything. <laughs> Seats came out nice. Organized everything that was in here. Mats are done. It smells nice. Use some odor neutralizer in here. No more dust and dirt. Got all the stains out of the carpet. In the back. Door panels are all clean. The trunk is clean. So uh, details, normally one day we'll get them in and out. I can normally do a couple a day if I got nothing else going on. Um, I'd like to start doing some really like uh, so the word I'm looking for, in-depth details for you guys. I want to do, like I said, like the Detail Geek does some really cool ones, so I'd like to do something like that. Um, I think you guys would like it. It'll, they seem to get a lot of views. And as the sun's going down, the C5 is looking pretty nice over here. It is 7 o'clock. So I hope you guys like that too. Go inside real quick. Before I end today's little clip, I'll show you what I'm doing on this. There is just... A couple of spots that we got some touch up for so I'm gonna fill all of these for everything like this just try to make it a little bit more pretty got a little banged up I didn't ask how not my business she asked me if I can clean it up a little bit I said no problem so a little scuff down the side we'll get that taken care of and there's a little spot of touch up on the back no big deal I'm just gonna compound out the side the best I can told her it's probably not gonna be perfect um, I'm doing it for her as a favor, so I will uh, I'll show you guys that and then that's gonna be the end of today And I'll see you guys tomorrow to finish the ramp All right, I want to show you guys what I use to fill paint chips uh, That's funny. It's actually the paint code that I had to order yesterday. It's 1f7 for this. It's a silver Toyota paint Ali's gonna hold it for you to show so I can do this with two hands. I Use these I get them on Amazon. They're like six bucks they're like old ink style pens. You fill them and they're for writing, but they are perfect for filling rock chips, scratches, and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, shut up. So I filled it, go over to the car, and see if I can do this and watch. And you're just gonna make little dots, 
and you're gonna fill the whole chip. Paint shrinks as it's drying, so don't be afraid to overfill. I know this is probably very boring, it's like watching paint dry, and you actually are watching paint dry. So I'll go ahead, fill these. You can see as it dries, it'll look a little smoother. It kind of shrinks up. So I'll get all this stuff filled and then I will, uh, I'll show you guys again what it looks like. All right guys, I'm done for the day. 7.30, I'm still gonna drop off that car that we detailed. I'm actually gonna run it home for the guy. Uh, he lives right down the street, next town over, no big deal. You guys can't even tell what I filled. Up close you can, but for the most part, you can't. And that swipe down the side, gone. I got most of it out. I think she's gonna be very happy. That's really all she was looking for. So I'm gonna pull that out. That's gonna stay outside tonight. We gotta pull uh, my C5 in. That's gonna stay inside tonight. And I'm pulling this in. I'm gonna do a full video on this. This is a really cool car. It's a special car. It is a, Dad, this is a 90? What? Georgia ZR1? Yeah. It's a 90 ZR1. I'm gonna do a full video on it. I'm not gonna give too much of it now. I'll just show you guys everything. A little sneak peek. Really cool car. Um, they're, it's a really special car. The uh, C4 ZR1s, they're super different compared to the normal C4. Um, maybe I'll actually pull out my old C4, the one I sold to my dad, and I'll do a little comparison between the two. Uh, I think that'd make a cool video. I'll probably do a separate video on that. And that's gonna be it for today, guys. I'm gonna come in tomorrow. We're gonna keep going on little weekly updates. I'm just gonna film everything I do from now on so I have some content for you. I just have to find time at this point to edit because things are starting to get hectic this time of year in the shop. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So it is the next day at the shop. I uh, just got here, did some running around this morning. It's actually midday already, it's noon. Uh, I'm gonna get some stuff moved around. Today's goal, we're finishing the Ram, so statewide can pick that up. Still got the other door to do, up around the door, logo it, and I'm gonna start laying some PPF on this. Uh, we're doing headlights, fogs, partial hood, partial fenders, full bumper. Today, I'd like to try to get headlights, fogs, hood, Fender's done tomorrow. I'll do the bumper. And uh, that's gonna be it for that car. Uh, PPF is not my favorite to work with. That's why I've kind of been pushing off, waiting for a nice day. So let's, uh, let's get started with today's projects. Just about done with it. I'm gonna start putting it back together in a minute. I'll show you guys when it's done. Something I did want to show you though is something my dad was actually working on. He's done a couple of these already. Uh, this is the full custom set that he did. This is the first one he custom painted. So you guys know we've done plenty of the Morimoto headlight installs, plenty of the taillight stuff. We've done a couple sets of the Morimoto fog lights now. You can see Morimoto fog, factory fog, but he custom painted the whole housing carbon flash, a factory Chevy color, and then did some paint match. It is the same color as the car on the fins. They came out really nice. Anybody wants this done, feel free to reach out. Even send us your lights, we can do it. It's no big deal, send them back out. You don't have to be local. Um, I'm not going to do a full video on just this since he already got one installed. I'll throw it in this one. I'm definitely going to post a couple pictures of it up because I think they're cool. A lot of people are going to like it. So in the car, they look pretty nice, I think. He's going to go ahead and start putting the other one in. He actually was able to get them in and keeping the wheels on. Just pulled out the flare, went in there. So it's not that bad. Uh, like I said, guys, any interest, you want this done, you're not local. Send us your lights and uh, you'll paint them and then I'll send them back to you, no big deal. So, 
Back to work on the truck. All right, guys, the statewide truck is done. It's all back together. I just did some dip on the back. It's super bright outside. Full wrapped in yellow, cab lights back on, mirrors back on, all the emblems are on, logos are on, handles are on, and the back is just dipped black. Like I said, it's gonna get a full aluminum, I believe it's a dump body on these, and uh, it's just easier to keep clean if, when it gets beat up. I can respray it for them. It's a lot easier than doing vinyl back there, and when it gets torn up, if I have to redo the vinyl back there, it's a pain in the butt going under the, uh, the dump bodies. So that's gonna be it for this truck. In the weekly videos, you'll probably see two more of these coming. I know there's definitely one more. They're looking at buying another one. So I'll probably have two more full yellow trucks or full, it's been a long day. I'll probably have two more uh, statewide trucks that are coming that are gonna get wrapped full yellow. One of them's brand new. One of them's gonna be a used truck. So they'll end up just like that. In tomorrow's video, well, in uh, what you see next in this video will be tomorrow. I'm gonna be doing the PPF on the C6. It's 5.30. I feel like getting out of here, it's nice out. I'm gonna take probably the C5 out for a ride. So I'll do that tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Welcome back guys, it is the next day. Like I said, we are working on the PPF today for the C6. So far we got the headlights done. I did the driver's side, Ali actually helped me. I taught her how to do it a little bit. She knocked out the uh, passenger side headlight. It's not the hardest thing in the world to do, but it's just time consuming. It's not my favorite thing. I'd rather work with vinyl, but some customers want PPF. No big deal. So this car is getting full nose, partial fender, partial hood, uh, partial other fender, and headlight and fog light. And I think we're doing mirror caps on this one. So we're, that's what we're working on today. Uh, for anyone that hasn't worked with uh, PPF, but has worked with vinyl, it's about twice as thick. It's a wet application, so you use a slip solution and a tack solution, and it's just it's a lot, a lot more time than working with normal vinyl. Um, you guys will get to see it. We'll probably run a couple time lapses here and there just to do it. I don't want to make it too long, too boring, but I want to show you guys what I'm working on today. So here we go. All right, we got the fenders done now. The edges aren't fully sealed yet. There's a little bit of water on them, but you can see where, actually you guys can barely see that on camera. There you go, you can see where it stops. Coming around. So sometimes it's best to, uh, once you get everything laid and tacked down like that, little spots, use a little bit of heat um, and wait for it to kind of start to dry. So, Everything can be uh, pressed down and sealed. Definitely takes time for it to fully dry. But this one came out nice also. Now, this is not what Allie does every day. This is my job, it's my profession. Allie works at, normally works with uh, children in daycares and stuff. She does not enjoy this. I'm very lucky that she's here helping me out. She's never worked with PPF before. She knocked out majority of this fender by herself. Uh, she, a few times she asked like which way to kind of pull the vine or pull the PPF or kind of lead it. Uh, Cause you do have to stretch it a little bit. It's pre-cut kits. And uh, I knocked out this side in all honesty. Hers probably, she probably did a little nicer, a little faster. Um, I don't know if it was just lucky because it's her first time and she was a little more patient than I am. But now we're gonna go ahead and get the hood done. It's a partial hood also. It'll line up with the pieces on the fender and then the bumper. For the bumper, I probably won't make Allie stay here to help me with that. That's gonna be a real pain in the butt. Um, later on when my dad's here, I'll have him help me pull it off the backing, spray it, get it on, and then I'll spend some time working on that just because it's very tedious, it's very annoying. Um, when it's done, it's gonna be worth it. All right guys, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and end this weekly video. You guys did not get to see us do the, uh, the PPF on the front bumper. I didn't realize GoPro died. I didn't have any extra batteries with me. It was kind of a, 
It was just a mess. So it's Sunday now. Did the front bumper yesterday on Saturday. Bumper's done, hood's done, headlights are done, top of the fenders are done. I do have to go ahead and do the fog lights, but I'm gonna pop them out to do them because they're not cut perfect. They're cut actually, you guys can tell, a non-wide body car and a wide body car. The fog lights are different on them. They're actually, most of the pre-cut kits are cut to fit that. So I don't wanna just hand cut it. I'm just gonna pop them out. It's super easy. I'm gonna do that this week. I have to put LED fogs in this car, LED reverse lights in this car. And then this car's ready to be picked up. It's getting picked up this Thursday. I'll get it out in the sun this week. Uh, if we get any little bubbles or anything in the PPF, I just use a little needle. It's a hypodermic needle. They're perfect for PPF. Pull the air out or pull the water out. Then everything will lay nice and smooth. I'm not too worried about it. I think it's going to come out great. Uh, this is where I'm going to go ahead and end the video. This will be in this video this week too. I'm going to start this coming week's video right now. It's Sunday, but I want to get this paint corrected. Just a light polish on it. It's getting a coating. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, paint correction done today. Tomorrow, get this coated, and then this is getting picked up Tuesday. So I'm just trying to keep everything moving. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.